Hi, my name is Corey Tedrow. I'm a Senior Solutions Specialist with AVID. And I'm going to be talking to you today about some of the tools that you can use to speed up your editing inside the Media Composer timeline. The project we're working with today is several interviews that we did with different AVID editors about the tools that they like to use when they work in Media Composer. The first section we're going to be looking at is one where Doc Kratzer, uh, an editor probably best known for Glee and Sons of Anarchy, Doc is talking about how editors go about learning new tools. So let's have a listen. Everyone has their own way of working. Um, and oftentimes I think it takes... So I like that piece, but we could get to it a little quicker if we uh, removed that um that we hear there. So since we're working with audio, I'm going to switch my timeline over to my audio edit view. And this is a customized view that I've created. And you can see I have nice big waveforms so I can see the audio. Everyone has their own way of working. Um, and oftentimes... And now we can see exactly where the um is that we need to remove. So first I'm going to add an edit uh, on the video and the audio tracks. And then we're going to move the blue position indicator to the other side of the um that we need to remove. Now I don't need to mark it in or out. What I can do is use a tool called top. And that is going to do just that. It's going to remove the top of that section that I was in and taking it right back to the top of that cut. And now you'll see that very quickly we've removed the um. Everyone has their own way of working. And oftentimes I think it takes someone else. In addition to the top function, we also have tail, which as you can imagine is the opposite. That will remove the tail of any section between the blue bar and the next edit. So again, very quick way to tighten things up. Moving down along, we have uh, the next editor we spoke to was Stuart Bass, uh, known for Arrested Development in the Office. And in this section, he's talking about footage. So let's have a listen. Searching through material and, you know, looking for takes most of your time is to make sure that I'm, I'm just what. So this is a great piece where he's talking about dealing with lots of footage, um, but I'd like him to get to the point a little quicker. So I want to remove uh, the end of that first section. And we're going to do this by um, basically creating an L cut. And we're going to do it pretty easily. We're going to mark an end just on the audio. And then we're going to use something called extend edit. And this is going to basically extend the uh, audio clip at the end there, back to that endpoint. Searching through material, especially these days where the, the, the directors just let the camera run. So much better, that's now tightened up, a quick way to do an L cut. Now if we take a look at the uh, B-roll that we're covering with there, it's not a lot of um, activity in it, it's not very interesting, so I think I want to swap that out. So I have another shot here that we're going to use to replace it with, a little more motion, a little more color. Now, in order to do this, you know, typically you'd have to mark an in and out and basically, you know, cut that over. But we're going to use a tool called Replace Edit, and that's going to allow me to do just that. Now, the nice thing about Replace Edit is it lets you do it based on simply the position of the blue position indicator bar. So here I simply patch my track and the blue position indicator on the source monitor is going to replace the edit on the record monitor. For the purpose of demonstration, I've been using the mouse to execute all of these commands. However, all of them can be found in the command palette and can easily be mapped to a keyboard. You can find Replace Edit and Top and Tail under the Edit tab, and Extend can be found under the Trim tab. And that is how you can use Top and Tail, Extend Edit, and Replace Edit to speed up your editing inside of Avid Media.